Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be voicing this tutorial on how to speed bridge in Minecraft. First of all, let me just hop on my single player world that I made. This is where I practice my bridging. Wait, let me, uh, let me actually, one sec. I just needed to turn the volume off so it was it weird water sounds. Anyway, so I built this thing, and basically, what it is, is it's like building so basically, so I built stuff here. This is where, so if you want to learn how to speed bridge first, most people will be doing this kind of bridge, like this. You're going to upgrade a lot from that because, you know. And another thing that you can do, it goes a little bit faster than this, is this. So you hold... It's, so you hold S and, and D, and then just hold the, the right trigger down, or S and A and D, all at the same time. Point your cursor like this, and uh, you just build. It's a little bit faster, like this. So, but that's not too good. So speed bridging is where you, so it's like, it looks like this. I'm not the best at it, but I know enough to make a tutorial. And it goes like this. And that's what it looks like. So basically what you're doing is you're placing a block, uncrouching, walking across the block. Oops. Walking, so you're. Placing, uncrouching, walking across it, crouching, and then placing again. And then repeating that step. So it's it's faster than this, and faster than this. So, I'm going to show you a demonstration. So it looks like this. And, uh, keep following. Mainly what you use this for is like bed wars or sky wars and stuff like that. But if you know how to do something called Breezley bridging, which you go, you do A and D and A and D and A and D, just spam jitter click and get like 10 CPS or butterfly click. And then you do that, speed bridging isn't as fast. So let me, how how many blocks can I place in us in, uh, in like a little bit? So I go, boom, wait, okay, look. <sighs> okay, so I go, boom, 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 boom. And now with this one, with normal building, instead of going boom, 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 I go, boom. Boom, 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 or boom, 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 instead of boom, 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 you know, it's much quicker. And the reason why this helps is because let's say you want to get to someone's base first, you'll get there before they expect it. And, you know, my most, my longest point for speed bridging is around two stacks of blocks it's kind of easy and the reason why i have this here is just for practicing and that i just practice you know random stuff that's what I, I suggest you doing i suggest you making a couple of these things like this and practice bridging like i could practice breezely bridging which is like really hard like i can't even do it like can't do Breezley Bridge, but if you keep practicing Breezley Bridging, you can do it. You know. You can also do stuff like, once you get to the habit of speed bridging slash ninja bridging, you can go like this. Boom, 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 boom. And then... I'll end up looking something like this, 
like this. And you can get somewhere really quick. Now that's just like me. It helps a lot in Bed Wars. I can show you in a game. Let's hop into a game. I'll show you. Okay, so I'm in a. Actually, I don't want to go into doubles. So once I go into the solos game, I'll be able to show you guys just how much this actually helps. So if you get into a game, go for solo. Once it loads. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm not that good at PvP. So, yeah, that may be a uh, something that factors into this. If you don't, if you're not good at PvP, probably shouldn't use this method. So yeah, I'll be right back after I wait. Okay, I am in a game. So after I get some wool, it should be pretty self-explanatory if you get wool. You just bridge over to someone else's base. Um, and then it's like good and you can win easily. Um, so there's a guy next to us. That's just, you can speed bridge over there. If you're not that good at speed bridging, ninja bridging I recommend not not doing it all the time in game like that you see that was in totally example totally didn't just fail you know hey <laughs> totally on purpose <laughs> um anyways so it's kind of like if you're not so good at it you may not want to do it because you could end up falling with a lot of gear that's why I only do it in the start of the game, because that's all I'm losing, really. It's just a little bit of wool. And that's not much. So as you see, it's much faster than normal bridging. This guy doesn't even know I'm here. If you can do it really fast, sometimes people won't even have bed protection by the time you get over there. But this map is kind of like, um, like a map that it's kind of, you have to go far. Get to someone's base, which I I can understand, but um, let me just get some TNT. Let me show you guys. I know you know like shock and rage and stuff. He's much like he's probably much faster at this to me, cause literally I just learned this yesterday. I just was practicing because I I looked up a video that and someone said, "Do you know how to speed bridge to me?" I'm like, "No." What is that? He showed me. And, oh my god, this guy. That's sad. So once again, you do have to be kind of good at PvP. If you're not, then that's bad because you're probably going to get destroyed. Uh, so let me just get some shears. Let me get some more wool. Also, I'm going to make a tutorial on how to win bridges really quickly I'm not like really quickly like as some of you may know I'm not good that good at bridge oh my god <laughs> I swear I am so done with this stupid game stupid I don't even care if that guy's building to my base you're gonna have your bed destroyed I don't even care if my bed just is destroyed okay no no it's I thought that was well um, pickaxes, um, that, um, okay. Okay. Um. Sir, can you not go to my base? You're gonna destroy my bed. I know you. You're stupid. You stupid idiot. Stop going for my bed. Okay. So you're just gonna go like that. Got it. Got it. I got it. I got you. I got you. As I said, I'm not good at PvP, so I'm gonna lose this. Okay, um, why is my 
Okay. So as you see, you can destroy people pretty quickly. If you're gonna have PvP, but if you're horrible at PvP, you're not gonna win every single game with this strat as some people can. So I'm just gonna play the rest of this game. You guys can I don't know. Watch me play. I'll have some music on, maybe. And uh yeah. Enjoy the video. There is my attempt at being absolute trash at Bed Wars. Um, as you see, I am very bad at PvP. But if you know how to do this correctly, and you know how to uh, speed bridge and PvP at the same time, I promise you, it will definitely help you with, your, with uh, bridging to people's spaces. Winning, I've done it like I've had a 20 win game, a 20 uh game streak win before on my other account that I that got banned from my pixel uh, because because that was butterfly clicking and apparently I got like 30 CPS or something, anyways. So, yeah, that is my tutorial. I know I'm not that good. What I recommend doing is, like, let's say this, like, place a block there, place a block there or something, break all of this in between, and then try to make, try to get from this point, point A, to this point, point B, and if you can, that's good. Try to get at least, like, a stack of wool, at least, um, before you use this constantly in Bed Wars. Otherwise, just use this only when you're, like, in the start of the game. As you see, I can do pretty close to my goal. Uh, my goal right now is a stack every time, or 48 every single time. Usually, I get 48 wool before I go up and attack people. But, as you can see, it, it's a very helpful strategy. It can basically win you any game. If you have, if you don't know this, if you don't like practice this a lot, it's probably you're probably gonna lose almost like half of your games unless you're Preston plays and you're a PvP god. Because I don't even think he knows how to speed bridge, but he is a PvP god, so he can win most of his games. So yeah. I have it. That is a tutorial on how to speed bridge. If you guys like the video, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Um, let's reach for five likes. Comment down below what you want to see next. I know usually I do Roblox tutorials, like the videos, and I, they have been doing really well. Like four, like five, almost five hundred views on one video. Like that, like that's kind of crazy for me. So, thank you guys so much for that. I appreciate it. And uh, as always, see you guys later. Bye.